Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Welcome back. Today we are going to study about cavity liners, varnish and bases. Starting with the cavity liners, it is a thin layer of material placed at the deepest portion of the cavity preparation which protects the pulpal tissue from irritation caused by chemicals from cements and other restorative materials, reduces sensitivity of freshly cut dentine and provides dentinal regeneration. In the diagram, you can see it is enamel, dentine, pulp and the deep cavity. The area marked from the deepest point of the cavity to the pulpal floor is RDT. I will show it in new slide. RDT, it is remaining dentinal thickness. If it is less than 0.5 mm, then we apply cavity liners. If it is more than 0.5 mm, we will directly go for the base. Cavity liners are usually suspensions of calcium hydroxide in an organic liquid such as methyl ethyl ketone or ethyl alcohol. It means calcium hydroxide when combined with ethyl alcohol which is a volatile solvent on reaction the volatile solvent gets evaporates leaving behind a thin film called cavity liner it is usually less than 0.5 mm and should not be applied on the walls it is only applied on the floor of the cavity okay coming to the cavity base thicker layer of cement placed under the permanent restoration which provides Protection to pulpal tissues, insulation from thermal shock, sedation which soothes the pulp which has already been damaged from the, from the irritants of the cavity. Okay? It is usually 0.5 to 0.75 mm thick. Zinc phosphate cement, zinc polycarboxylate cement, reinforced zinc oxide eugenol cement and GIC is used as basis. It is also applied only on the floors of the cavity and not on the walls as like cavity liners. Okay? Now, coming to cavity varnish. It is a solution of one or more resins which when applied onto the cavity walls evaporates leaving a thin resin film. It serves as a barrier between the restoration and the dentinal tubules. It reduces micro leakage around the margins of restoration hence reduces sensitivity. It protects the restoration from dehydration or contact with oral fluids which is usually required for GIC. Fluoride varnishes are used to prevent or arrest tooth decay in smooth surfaces in young children, especially when applied before the age of 3 years. Okay, Varnishes are usually 2 to 5 microns thick and should be applied layer wise using brush or cotton pledget. Based on applications, varnishes are of 4 types. Fluoride varnish, antimicrobial varnish, desensitizing varnish and tooth whitening varnish. And based on curing, it is physically cured varnish or chemically cured varnish. Hope you find this video helpful. If you want any other topic, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.